Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to day one of our 31 days of tricks and techniques. Today, to kick everything off, I thought we'd start with metallic gilding polish, otherwise known as gilding wax or um, a metallic sheer luster that you can get to put on your products. This is quite new from Cosmic Shimmer and it is gold treasure gilding polish. You get it in a little tub like this. Now, for anybody like me that doesn't like sticking your fingers in things, this is ideal. On the tub, you actually get your application sponge at the top, just hidden. And then underneath, if you twist the full cap, is your product. So I'm going to start off just telling you a little bit about the sponge. When you get it, now I've been using mine, but when you get it, it does say to you, before application, to wash your sponge. I haven't. I think it's just a little bit of self-preference, whatever you think. If you want to wash your sponge, but it, I haven't found that it's made a lot of difference. It does go a little bit dry after you've been using the product on it, but as soon as you use it again in the product, it doesn't have any effect, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't matter basically so that's your sponge then the product when you open the lid like so it's not a hard product but it looks like a cream and it isn't it's um, the consistency of quite thick whipped cream you do really want to stick your finger in it as soon as you get it um, but don't because that's why you've got your sponge. It matches the range of Cosmic Shimmer products that are also in the same name. If you've got any of the other products that are called Girl Treasure or Vintage Plum etc. They will all turn together. This pot is 50 mils. It's going to last you a good long time. So I want to show you a few examples of what I've done with it. So the first is ivory card that I've embossed and I know you've seen me use the gilding wax before on um, finished cards so I thought I'll show you both the plane and what we've done. So all the sheets that I've embossed are all the same pattern and it's the thistle bouquet from Anna Griffin. So this was an ivory plane cardstock and that's one I'm going to emboss to show you. Now you can also turn your plane cardstock into a shimmered cardstock so that was just a plain white card that I've covered and I'll show you how to do that that's an ombre inked effect and that has just got a touch of the gilding wax on it and that's a black card again embossed in the thistle bouquet with the gold polish on gold sorry the gilding polish that's the plain black card before we used the gilding polish. And then I've got craft card that I've used a little bit of ink on and then the gilding polish as well. So I call it both gilding polish and gilding wax. It doesn't really matter because it's the same effect that you're going to get. So that's a few examples. So let me show you how to use it. So I'm going to start off with just the ivory cardstock. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a piece of kitchen um, towel underneath just for protection. So you open your pot and you take your applicator out. And I always put my applicator on my towel. So then take your applicator and dip it in. I'll hold it up so you can see. Just dip it in to the side of the applicator. If you think you've got too much, I always dot a little bit onto the kitchen towel to make sure I've got just enough on the applicator. And then, it's a little bit like um, when you're blending ink. Go onto your paper, nice and light to begin with. Now, I've gone on a bit heavy handed because I want you to be able to see it. And just use circular movements to build up the colour and then as you start going with it 
you can add a little bit more pressure or you can lift off depending on how deep you want the colour really so I can keep going and then as I build that up on the side of my kitchen towel I can use it and not waste it so then we just keep going now I'm going kind of slow but as you get going you'll build up your speed and your confidence now I think this product is great it's a product that you can make messy craft with but you don't get messy and then your finished results aren't messy but it's something that you're getting involved with and having fun with and the effects that you can get with it are absolutely stunning so I'm just going to add a little bit more to that side because then once you've added all the gilding wax I want to show you how you bring your shine up to get the depth of the colour so I'm just going to put that to one side there we go so once you've got some gilding wax actually on your card or whatever it is that you're using you then go in with a dry kitchen towel and you give it a buff now you will find that you'll get a little bit of residue on your kitchen towel but just go in and polish it there we go and then that gives it the sheen and the lustre that only a gilding wax can really and I'm hoping that picks it up so you can literally polish it as many times as you like you get a little bit on your cloth make sure it's a dry cloth and then that gives you depth of shine if you want you can always go back to it add more if you haven't put enough on and then give it another polish always remember to polish it at the end because that kind of sets it and gives it that shine so that's using it on embossed card so next we did the plain card so what I've done is I've got a piece of plain card now there's no technique to this I mean there's no rights and wrongs with it at all it's just your preference and you playing with it and it is a product that you want to play with so again I tap it off on the side of my kitchen towel and then I simply go in and I do straight movements with this and you don't have to dip it off but it is better to because then you don't get any bits on it so let's just tap it off and back in and keep going building up the colour all the way you can go back over it but I do find go in one direction don't do circular movements and then straight movements so but again it's completely up to you so you build up the colour like that there we go and so now you can see how that layer is covering nicely but we've got a few of the paler areas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish it off with my cloth give it a nice buff and then show you the shine that you get but then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do coat number two because then I can build up the actual colour and get rid of the very faint lines that there was on the card there we go and I can keep going building it all up getting rid of the lines so you can see they've nearly all gone there we'll do a little bit more down to the bottom so there we go so you'll be able to see where it's got two coats and where it's only got one 
and then buff it up. Now, if you think that still needs a little bit more, you can go back to your colour and again build it up and it will fill in all the little bits that you've not managed to get and build up the layers. But just remember each time you've finished, give it a buff because that's what sets it and gives it the polish for the finish really. So there we go. I'm using, it's, I think it's about a 260 weight card, GSM. So now you can see this top section has had three coats on and then it fades as it gets to where I've only, you know, put the one layer on. So that's how to do a plain card. And to look at it, you're only seeing um, the paler bits because we're looking directly at it. So you can see that way it's totally covered. So the last thing that I want to show you is the gilding polish is ideal for edging on your cards. If you're building up your mat and layers, now we're going to cover mat and layering in another video, so don't worry if you're new to card making, we're going to do that. Um, you can also add it, as I say, to your layers. So if you're adding it to a card like that, you can just use it around the edge of the card and build up the colour to get a vintage look. Now the one thing that I've found is, if I'm using the gilding wax, around the edge of a card. I ink it slightly first if I'm going to use it with ink and then I use the gilding wax and then I add the ink again because sometimes the depth of colour can be lost with the actual polish underneath but that's how to do the edges as well. It's quite simple. It's a great product and it's a great product for um, see I'm saying it again, messy crafting but it's not messy because you're not getting anything on your hands. So it's an ideal product to use to enhance so much of your card making and your scrapbooking. It's acid and lignin free. It comes in such a wide range of colours. I personally, I stick to the vintage colours because I find they tend to, um, tend to turn in with the things that I use. So that's how to use the gilding wax, stroke polish, whatever you want to call it, your preference. And I've used it on many, many of my projects and I've been asked a lot about how to use it and what it is. Well, that's what it is. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching on this very first day of Tricks and Techniques for January. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's given you something to think about and just an insight into a great product that you can do so much with. I'm hoping that you're going to join me every day for these tricks and techniques. Some days are going to be shorter than others. Today's quite a long one. But again, you know, it's a product you've asked for to see how to use it. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at something completely different. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.